there, folks. If you like Jurassic Park, uh, Jurassic World, all those types of things, then this is Dinosaur Island. It is basically the Jurassic Park game. Super fun uh, in a lot of respects if you enjoy that kind of a thing. So you're, you're doing a lot of different things. It seems very overwhelming. You can look at the back. There's just a lot going on right here, but they do break it down really pretty well. There's a couple of like little rules that are hard to keep track of, but even on the back they say uh, within each phase, they list out what are some common things you might forget, which is really helpful. Uh, and you do look at the boards and they have phase one, two, three, four, and so that really helps out as well. So phase one, you're doing different research, gaining DNA, uh, moving your cold storage up so you can store more DNA, that kind of thing, because you're using that DNA to create, um, I almost said monsters. They're not really monsters, they're dinosaurs. So you're creating these different dinosaurs in your park, and so you're managing your park, you're having different visitors come, but you also have to manage the threat level and security level, because if your security level isn't high enough, uh, park visitors get eaten, and that's bad for you. You lose victory points. There's a lot of really interesting things to try and figure out. There's upgraded uh, phase two. You get to kind of upgrade your little areas and park and different things like that, and so you can upgrade uh, some of your different lab actions. There's two that start out blank, so you take these tiles and they add different nice things to be able to do. So it works out really pretty well. I, I was pretty impressed with it. I think the quality of all the pieces and different things are nice. I think Pandasaurus does a good job in general, and I really do enjoy this one. There is a solo mode as well. I've not checked that out, but it's nice to have. I saw the solo cards and different things looked nice. Another thing I like is that they have these different cards that you uh, turn out, and these cards are for short. There's a short game, there's a medium game, and then a long game. And so I really like that if you want to play just a shorter game, I think this game is definitely designed to be a longer game. And so if you want the full experience of making everything work and run, uh, the long game is probably what you want to go for. That's the main experience. But you can definitely do the short game, uh, which is just a nice thing to be able to give you to play a game that's not as long. And so I like that they have that in there as well. But those... Uh, end round goals basically that shows that shows you what happens to spring the end game and then there's also some plot twists so with those the game can really change quite a bit depending on how you're playing and I really enjoy that variability of doing the same thing but changing it just a little bit depending on what you've got there so that is dinosaur island if you want to basically have your own little dinosaur dinosaur uh, tycoon this is a great game to be able to do it. There's a lot in this heavy box. Really nice, really enjoy that. So hopefully that gives you a nice little touch and a taste of what this is, what it does, and why it may or may not be right for you. Thanks.